Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna take you through <clears throat> every question that has been asked on volume and surface area. And I'm actually gonna do a very, very short one for this. It is just going to be on cylinders and on prisms. Now, if you do wanna use this document, it is linked in the description as a PDF and all of these things are hyperlinked so you can click them and they'll take you through to different questions. So I'm gonna go through to this part on cylinders right here. For some reason, it is not letting me access it. Let me just double click it here. There we go, that's much better. And I'm gonna begin by answering this question here, which is about cylinders. Now, there's only one on cylinders and one on prisms. They do pop up in other places, but I'm just going to stick uh, with these two that are just asked like this. So it says that Jeremy has to cover three tanks completely with paint. Each tank is in the shape of a cylinder with a top and a bottom. The tank has a diameter of 1.6 and a height of 1.8. Jeremy has seven, seven tins of paint and each tin of paint covers five meters squared. Has he got enough paint to cover completely the three tanks? You must show how you get your answer. So what I'm gonna to want to do for this one, because I'm wanting to cover it, I'm actually trying to work out the surface area. So I'm gonna try and work out the surface area. Now, if you think about the surface area almost like being a net, this one that we're gonna have, if you were gonna unroll it, you'd imagine it kind of being cut down one of the sides. And when that part unrolls, you would have a rectangle. You'd then have like a circle bit that matches it on the top and a circle bit that matches it on the bottom. Now the height of the rectangle that we've got here is going to be 1.8. And then this width of the rectangle that we have here is going to be the circumference. It's actually gonna be this whole part around the outside of the circle that we have at the top. So that's going to be the circumference. So the surface area is going to be a rectangle and two circles. So why don't I just pull this down here? Cause I think what I'm gonna to need to do to begin with is to find the circumference. And the circumference is pi multiplied by the diameter, which is pi times by 1.6. So I'm actually gonna just leave it as pi times 1.6. I'm gonna leave it as 1.6 pi, and then I'll do some calculations with it later on instead. So for the surface area, we're going to have the 1.8 multiplied by C, which is 1.6 pi. And then I'm also gonna to have to add on the area of these two circles. Now the radius of these circles is going to be half of 1.6, which is 0 0.8. So it is gonna be pi multiplied by 0 0.8 squared. And there are two of those circles, so I'm gonna multiply it by two. Now to put this all on my calculator, I'm actually just gonna do 1.8 times 1.6. So that is 2.88 pi. And then for the next part, I've got two times 0 0.8 squared. Two times 0 0.8 squared, which is 1.28 pi. And if I add 1.28 and 2.28, sorry, 2.88, I get 4.16 pi. So this is the surface area of one of them. And Jeremy has to cover three tanks of them. So three tanks is going to be 4.16 pi multiplied by three. And now I'm actually gonna do this calculation, 4.16 pi, 4.16 pi multiplied by three, that is 39.207 meters squared. And Jeremy has seven tins of paint. So seven tins, if each one does five meters squared, is gonna be seven times five, which is 35 meters squared. So Jeremy doesn't have enough because he needs 39, and only has 35. He needs 39.2 meters squared, but only has 35. So he doesn't have enough. Let's double check we've got this right. So let's see if we've got that 39, there's that 39.2 that we have down here, and no, he doesn't have enough for this one. This one's a non-calculated one, so we'll be a little bit careful with this. It says the diagram shows a prism. The cross section of the prism is a right angle triangle. The base of the triangle has length five and the prism has length 25. The prism has volume 750 centimeters cubed. Work out the height of the prism. So this is the thing that I'm gonna try and work out. Now we know that the volume of a prism is the cross section area multiplied by the length. So I'm actually gonna just find out what the cross section area is because the volume is 750. So it's gonna be the area multiplied by the length, which is 25. So I'll do 750 divided by 25 and that will be what the area is. Well, 750 divided by 25, let's find out how many times 25 goes into 750. Oh, well, 25 goes into 75 three times. So it's just gonna be that the area of the triangle is equal to 30. Well, I know that the area of a triangle is the base, which is five, multiplied by the height, divided by two, and that is equal to 30. So I get 
here, 5h divided by 2 is 30. So if I times both sides by 2, 5h is equal to 60. And if I do 60 divided by 5, I get 12. So that means that the height of this prism is going to be 12 centimetres. Let's double check that we've got this one right. Yep, this is 12 centimetres that we've got here. So we know we've got that one correct. Now in the next video, I'm going to be going through everything to do with spheres and cones and frustums and all sorts of odd sort of 3D shapes that aren't prisms or cylinders. So stay tuned for that video if you'd like to have a look at it as well. And if you liked this and found it useful, please do like the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel to get updates of all the other things I'm preparing for your GCSE revision.